Greetings folks, this video is going to be all about the FRSky Pixel OSD or the FRSky OSD or the graphical based OSD. Uh, it has started appearing on a few of the flight control boards that are on the market like this Matec F722WPX uh, as opposed to the old style character based OSD. Uh, the old chip is usually based on the AT7456E and that chip generates the characters that you see overlaid on your video in your FPV view. Uh, the character based chip stores the characters sort of fully formed and it just addresses them and generates them and, and uh, displays them on the overlay. Whereas the pixel based OSD sort of recreates it pixel by pixel all the numbers uh, and the icons so you can get much nicer sort of graphical shapes and uh, nicer movement of, of uh, items as well. But I'll demonstrate all of this stuff uh, on screen so we know what it looks like. Now it's interesting that the original character based uh, OSD, the AT7456, uh, is connected to the processor via SPI. So that's sort of an onboard, simple connection, um, doesn't use up any other resources. Whereas the pixel-based OSC needs a UART, so it will use up one of the spare UARTs uh, and you have to enable it in the ports tab uh, by selecting FRSky OSD in the peripherals. INAV 2.6 has uh, just released a few extra features that can be used by the uh, Pixel OSD and I'll demonstrate them, the sort of the sidebars and, and the latter style uh, horizontal horizon was actually available in 2.5 but uh, also available in 2.6 and they're basically the only graphical elements that are available at the moment. Everything else is still the character based uh, numbers and icons. So a lot of the potential for this Pixel OSD is coming in the future. But the word on the street, people who know more about this than I do are, are sort of predicting that this graphical based uh, OSD chip is going to be phased out and uh, will end up just using the Pixel based OSDs. So it's important to know about them. I found I didn't know much about it at all. So uh, this is just what I've found out recently. So we'll start with the F411. WSE. Um, so the things that we're going to notice the difference between the graphical and the pixel OSD is the artificial horizon and the horizon sidebars. So there's uh, the horizon sidebars. Let's go a bit closer. The artificial horizon is actually made up of dashes. They're actually characters. And if you'll see, if we uh, tilt the board right over, it switches to a vertical dash instead of a horizontal dash there. So that's showing that it's made up of, of little dashes and all the rest of the screen is just character based so all right let's switch over to the uh, 722 WPX with the pixel based OSD so all the normal characters are just character based uh, nothing fancy in them so let's turn on the artificial horizon so that is obviously different that's the the ladder style of artificial horizon and you'll also notice when we tilt the board, the lines are being redrawn pixel by pixel basically. Now also if we turn on the uh, sidebars, we get these uh, nice sidebars on the side here and we can also turn on information within the sidebars. So this is new in uh, INAV 2.6, say on the left hand side we can in include the altitude, on the right hand side the ground speeds. Uh, we can also choose distance to home if we want to. There's distance to home or we can uh, turn it off if we so desire. But they look pretty cool, I think. We also have some different crosshair choices as well. That's the default. Uh, there's one I quite like. Type 3 looks like a little Talon plane from here. So there you go. That's the major difference. It's really only these uh, pixel based elements that have been added all the rest are just characters still now personally i don't like these uh, artificial horizons or scroll bars i prefer to have everything turned off really so uh, 
character based or pixel based doesn't really make a lot of difference for me but at least we know what it's all about now there is also an app from fr sky i'll put a link in the description uh, it's the fr sky osd app which uh, you can use to flash new firmware to the osd chip um, let's connect so there we go that's connected now uh, and you can see it picks up all the uh, whatever font you have uploaded you have a few settings options i have to connect the camera to allow the settings there you go camera's connected so we have uh, brightness uh, horizontal offset and vertical offset and you can actually use this to move the osd around the screen if you need to I had to play with the brightness. I didn't think it made much difference. So who knows, that may or may not work. Um, and I also did the upload font and it ended up as gobbledygook for some reason. So uh, I used the upload font via the INF configurator and that fixed it all up. But mainly I think you'd use this to flash new firmware to the OSD chip. This is OSD version 2. Just having a look at the actual OSD chips themselves, this is the original... Uh, character based AT7456 on uh, F405 wing board and this is the FR Sky OSD the Pixel OSD so there you go that's pretty much it to me it won't make a lot of difference at all uh, I won't actually be able to tell the difference because I don't use any of this sort of stuff but if you like these uh, ladder style horizon, uh, artificial horizon and scrolling numbers on the side uh, then this is the future basically i guess more items will be added over time uh, but at the moment that's that's it that's the only difference thanks for watching